My name is Vincent Arita. My name is Dominic. My name is Dominic Gilfuso, and our company is Sangua Diagnostics. Uh, we'd like to start off by showing you three problems that are the world is facing. First, 257 million people right now live with hepatitis B, and they don't. And 91 percent of them don't know. This causes a huge problem because millions of women are transmitting diseases to their children, whether it's HIV, hepatitis, or Zika. Secondly, this problem persists in the United States as well. In the United States, there are massive delays and expense associated with blood donations and testing services. I recently wanted to donate blood to my mother before surgery and was unable because my blood had to go all the way to North Carolina, as would any of yours in this room, for centralized testing adding hundreds of dollars to the price of blood, making a single unit of blood almost $300, of which a single surgery can number over 10 units. Third, the CDC told us that antibiotic and anti-drug resistance is going to be one of the biggest global health crises that we have yet to face. This is because we live a system right now where 27 million people this year were given antibiotics unnecessarily, and 80% of all of our antibiotics are used on livestock. This is what experts predict. 10 million lives and $100 trillion lost every year just to treating disease that we no longer will have a cure for. What's in common with these three problems is a global lack of access to rapid, inexpensive, and point-of-care diagnostics. Right now, the current standard of care is still centralized lab that take days for results and have huge overhead. And although the world lives on, half the world lives under $2 a day, this is the current standard of care portable point-of-care devices that still cost $10,000 and can only treat one patient at a time. And with a global rising population and a shortage of physicians, currently these are the solution. However, you would need 10 finger stick devices to do a panel of diseases and it would still cost over $255 to screen before a blood test. This is unacceptable. What you have today to replace these solutions and what you will not see in CBS are these. Paper diagnostics are here. They are the next generation of diagnostic devices. They are cheap, they are reliable, they are accurate, and they are very rapid. And what's more is they fit on the size of a potion stamp. As you can see here, the billions of dollars stand to be saved as well as millions of lives due to paper diagnostic technologies. Big names such as George Whitesides of Harvard University are associated with this. And unlike blood testing company Theranos, there are 10 years of development at Harvard University as well as five years of peer-reviewed trials behind this technology. Currently, paper diagnostics do, however, face a commercialization challenge. Right now, they need someone to be able to help them package their tests and protect them in storage, as well as integrate multiple tests into a single panel, incorporating multiple tests into a single usable clinical device, as well as lastly, be able to read those devices, as well as record the data and use it in an actionable way. What you see before you here are 11 labs and companies currently looking for a path towards commercialization. What they need is a platform that is able to be a systems integration and bleed them towards the market. And that is exactly what Sangha Diagnostics is providing. We can take already approved tests and combine them into a systems integrated platform, which will be able to have panels of customizable diseases for different applications. We have a patent pending three-step solution, which covers a novel collection system, a finger stick device, which takes your blood. Then that device goes into our smart incubator, which reads the results, which are a colorimetric change, and our data analytics platform will then be able to record the results. Our test um, device uses microfluidics to take your blood from your finger and deliver it to an array of paper tests. We've already done the manufacturing um, pilot run um, plan, and we have gotten the cost of our device down to about $3.50. Smart incubator is where the test will get incubated and heated, and in about 40 minutes, you'll be able to see the result as a color change. This then will be captured and will be um, stored in the device. Our data analytics platform is the third step where we'll be able to get the information on the spot locally, but also be able to collect that information and create heat maps to show how disease is spreading over time, like the one here. Lastly, we have secured automated reimbursement system so that we can get reimbursed for every single test that is done. Um, the current competition 
currently is looking at this as a, a large um, testing facility or a portable device that still costs $10,000. We can provide tests for cheaper, chemistries and diseases for little training and with four times the window period for detecting disease. We validated markets um, first in veterinary diagnostics, where we'll be targeting a lower barrier to entry market, and we have relationships with the Animal Health Diagnostic Center at Cornell and the IMSS in Mexico, who are interested in this device. Second, with um, human markets in the University of Sao Paulo, Brazil, um, preventing mother to child transmission of HIV. Second, the Red Cross has given us interest in reducing transfusion, transmitted infections, and blood delays in their testing. Currently, we have an excellent array of potential partnerships and interested parties, as you can see here. A little bit forward, um, we've been supported thus far through an excellent team of advisors as well as organizations, um, inclusive of RPI as well as the back over at Albany Med, as well as some of the others seen here. And we have an excellent pool of talent which has been helping to deliver this device, covering fields as broad as biomedical engineering, mechanical engineering, uh, chemical biology, and etc. We are assisted by a great team of advisors, some of which are in the room today. Um, and going forward, uh, the direction for Sanguine is really looking to take on in the next couple of months um, a excellent team, and some of the uh, events that we've gone through can be seen here. Just in the last year alone, we went through the RPI Reveal Accelerator, got NSF eyesight funding, and won the RPI Change the World Challenge. We've also went through the Biomedical Accelerator at Albany Med, and were awarded at VentureWell in DC. We won the Capital Region Cup for the New York State Business Plan Competition, as well as second place at RPI's Business Model Competition. <laughs> we ended up taking home third place at the finals for the New York State Competition, and just two weeks ago we filed our full patent, combining two of our provisionals. Moving forward, We'll be looking to enter some of the NSF programs available to us in the area, as well as do our initial raise. We also have some very promising potential partnerships and in fact meetings later this week um, with some interested parties, and plan to release our first agriculturally targeted device later this year, with moving into human markets following. Our basis model is primarily centered upon three options. Our B2B model would be to provide our diagnostic platform to chemical test developers in which we will provide our platform for them to provide their product to service companies. Then secondly, we would provide a B2C product where we would either uh, where we would purchase tests and deliver them either to a distributor or directly to clinicians. Lastly is a joint venture option which has proven very popular in our discussions where we do profit sharing with paper test developers. Our ask tonight is if anybody would like to join our team, we're looking to hire an excellent pool of talented professionals as well as we are looking to connect with experts in the field and to be able to grow our support network and our supplier connections. Um, lastly, we're looking to do our initial raise of 150 by the end of August this year. Sanguin Diagnostics' vision is to provide a delivery platform for the integration, the commercialization, and the implementation of paper diagnostics. We want to be the engine which is Sorry. Right now, paper diagnostics are an engine without a car. And what we do is allow that technology to be able to be taken out of the labs and into the real world where we can start saving lives. Thank you. Any questions? Uh, testing for Lyme is one of the more difficult ones. It's been attempted by some of the paper manufacturing technologies, but since we are really a delivery platform for the paper tests, um, we can only provide what the manufacturers are capable of. I, I am aware of several universities which are developing it, but none are ready yet. So. It's, it's a very specialist test. So we'd love to be able to do it. The question was about the regulatory hurdles. So yes, there are. Um, our business model is trying to um, tackle already developed tests that are already approved. So um, one of our partners we have a meeting with tomorrow um, at Harvard, they're actually going through the FDA process and they're about to get approved for a test for liver function. So we're planning on first targeting the tests that have already been developed 
and eventually we're going to be um, building out our own team to start develop tests. And that's a there is a, um, a regulatory process, and we plan on using the 510K to be able to get our device um, to market faster and also target veterinary agriculture, which has a much lower barrier entry in terms of regulatory, to be able to run our first um, prototype of the device. So the way that we're approaching the engineering, um, obviously, as Vince mentioned, that we, we are patent, uh, we are patent pending. Uh, however, we've approached the three component system. The first one, the capillary action, as well as the distribution of the device in an actual encapsulated form, we, we do have a functional prototype. The following two are under development. We have conceptual as well as a cover up. So that's why we're going to hire the engineer. Let's give him a hand. Thank you.